we are here at DI Monday morning. We missed opening because we were at the gym, but hopefully there's still some good stuff. All right, so I'm seeing lots of good stuff on these shelves today, but I'm trying to find things that I don't have to paint. Although I already have these corbels that are probably gonna need a paint job, but they were too good to pass up at $3 a piece. So this is brand new in the box for five bucks. I just feel like it's called a headstone spray. I don't know. Looks like it was $30 clearance at Walmart at one point. So it's probably worth it, but the flowers are a little too pinky, I think. I'm gonna throw it in the box. We'll see what Jamie says. So what do you think? Too pink? Um, that's a little cemetery chic for me, so I'm gonna say pass. But it's like supplies though, right? <laughs> like it's, it's not the good supplies. Like those are like the cheap um, silk flowers, not the good ones. All right, what so what is your opinion on these? Too, too much heart going on? I think, I think they were originally like a set, but they've got hanging hooks on the bottom. Like they're supposed to be hung on the wall. They open up and do all kinds of things. I'm not sure. Like you could just open it up like this. That's a hard pass. All right. Can you make it good and not turquoise? Um, yeah, I mean, we're gonna have to spray it because brushing wicker is a pain in the butt, but it's pretty sturdy and some little girl is gonna love that. So we came to another thrift store and I found these two right away and then I scoped a third one here. I really like this style. Painting this up is gonna be so cute, lots of texture and it's a really solid metal and 75 cents a piece. That's a good deal. All right, so not a huge fan of this, but I do like the urn and it's got foam. So maybe I can find some other greenery that we can swap out on this, but I'm gonna pick it up for $1.50. Also $1.50, another little topiary in the back needs a wash, but it's cute. Love this little terracotta pot for a dollar. It'll be cute painted. So I'm gonna pick these up. They're a dollar piece. Look like um, depression glass or uranium glass, I'm not sure. I always like to pick up cute little creamers and sugars. This looks like a set. So I'll get both of these. And do not forget crystal, 75 cents. Oh my gosh, that's a deal, it's heavy. Look at that, 75 cents. Look what I found, four more. So not sad about this little stack of silver trophies. Let's see what we got. This is, oh yeah, there's another one. Somebody was really into the Alpine Country Club. That one doesn't have anything on it. Oh, it does. Apparently Val Christensen won a lot. Cute little, I don't know what you wanna call these containers with lids on them. Definitely need painted, but I'm gonna pick up both of them for $1.50 each. These are salt and pepper shakers. I think they're just, the coloring's a little off and I'm not sure that I wanna paint them, so I'm gonna pass. I'm hopefully not gonna be sad about this later. All right, so we actually just bought one of these the other day and it's sold. Oh, I'm gonna pick this up for $5, heck yes. It has been a while since I've found a uh, reason to make a thrift store marriage, but found this lid randomly in the wood aisle. It's resin. Let's go see if we can find it a jar. I bought a big chest too that was out there. There we go. I think that's the winner. home and we need to get everything listed so we've got it all out not as many smaller items as we normally like to have so I might make one more trip but all in all I think it was a really successful thrift day if you like these kinds of videos comment below be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY